So Jeremy Corbyn led the Labour Party to a historic defeat back in December 2019. And he was subsequently replaced several months later by this chap, Sir Keir Stormer. Sir Keir Forensic Stormer, or Captain Obvious, as uh, Boris Johnson amusingly uh, called him. So Sir Keir, anyway, has been leading Labour now for, uh, you know, since uh, earlier, in around about the time actually the pandemic started back in, uh, in 2020. And uh, he's had a reasonably, you know, positive media reception. Obviously, the left-wing media do love a metropolitan elitist. But along comes the news today that Sir Keir and his party are going to face a by-election. Yes, Labour MP Mike Hill quits the Commons, sparking this red wall by-election. And I really haven't heard that much about Mike Hill, but I have read today that yesterday he appears to have deleted his Twitter account. His resignation follows reports he used taxpayers' money to fight a staff member's claim of unfair dismissal, sexual assault and harassment. Um, Mr Hill was suspended by Labour in September 2019 over allegations he sexually harassed a woman, but he subsequently had the whip restored so he could fight the general election. We're going to talk about that in a second. Um, so you can see that, that these are the allegations. Mr Hill can sort those allegations out. I'm not interested. It's the fact that by him resigning his seat, the by-election, which will be on May the 6th, has been triggered. So in this kind of gritty, working-class, northern seat, who do you think Labour might choose to fight the seat held by Mike Hill? That's right, Eddie Izzard, the former comedian. And here is Eddie in a particularly fetching outfit. And for some for reasons which probably Sir Keir best understands, he feels Eddie can really appeal to the electorate of Hartlepool, which I think is quite an interesting uh, opinion that Sir Keir has. Let's look at what happened in this constituency, shall we? Uh, this is the change in 2017 to 2019. So as you can see, 2019 general election, Labour won the seat, Mike Hill topping the poll, but his vote was back almost 15%. The Tories were in a kind of reasonably close second place, but their vote was also back. And you can see the Brexit party with uh, Richard Tice uh, in position there, uh, polled a very credible third place. Uh, and obviously that the Brexit Party vote presumably had eaten into both the Labour and Conservative Party vote uh, in this constituency. Uh, Richard Tice, as you know, he's, the, he's now the leader of the Reform Party. Uh, pretty high profile, interesting character. He blocked me on Twitter, so uh, I'm not sure I'm overly keen on Richard, but there we go. Anyway, Richard's going to be or potentially standing in this constituency for the Reform Party. Will the Reform Party do as well as the Brexit Party? I wouldn't think so, but I could be proven wrong. And the dynamic here is what is going to happen, you know, what will unfold? So can Eddie Izzard, can Eddie uh, hold the seat for Labour? Does Eddie have the necessary appeal for those northern working class voters that Sir Keir thinks he may have? Can the Conservatives take the seat? Can their candidate, uh, you know, bridge the gap with uh, Labour? Let's face it, if that Brexit party vote vanishes, which I suspect it will do, that in, in itself could do the trick. So this could become a Conservative seat. Um, you know, is it possible that Richard Tice, under this new party, uh, could uh, stand and score a significant vote? I doubt it. And as the rest of, the, as you can see, the rest of the others are all uh, in the first pass the post system. They have no chance. So these are the interesting political figure, uh, questions that will uh, have will be answered, I guess, um, on May the sixth when voters come out and whether the, as I say, these voters decide that Sir Keir is right in his selection of Eddie Izzard, or perhaps Richard Tice will somehow upset the apple cart. I don't know. It's going to be a real interesting one. And one thing is for sure, um, if 
Labour were to lose this seat, that would be a big blow for Sir Keir Starmer. It would demonstrate that his judgment is poor. And given that he's following Jeremy Corbyn, I mean, that's quite an achievement, if that be the case. From my point of view, if the Tories win it, that's also disturbing because that would simply reinforce uh, Boris Johnson's authoritarian regime at Westminster, which has taken away our freedoms and liberty. So I'm not sure, actually, to, if, you know, if it's a Labour win or if it's a Conservative win, and those look like the two best options, I think we all lose. So do let me know what you think about this by-election. What would you hope to see as the ideal result? Uh, do you think Eddie Izzard can do it for Labour? And can, can Eddie appeal to the people of Hartlepool? Or can the Conservatives somehow bring down another brick from the red wall? Uh, let me know in the comments below, folks. And... <laughs>